हेलो दोस्तों मैं हूं स्मिता कुमार और आप देख रहे हैं आपका अपना हेल्थ चैनल मेडी सर्कल आजकल हम अक्सर हाइपरटेंशन के बारे में सुनते हैं ऐसा इसलिए है क्योंकि हाइपरटेंशन हमारी सोसाइटी में काफ़ी प्रेवलेंट होता जा रहा है सीनियर वृद्धों में और सीनियर सिटीजन्स में देखी जाने वाली ये बीमारी आजकल यूथ यानी यंग जनरेशन में भी काफ़ी देखी जा रही है आंकड़ों के हिसाब से करीब थर्टी अर्बन और 25 परसेंट रूरल इंडियंस हाइपरटेंशन से ग्रसित है जिसमें से 25 परसेंट रूरल और 42 परसेंट अर्बन पॉपुलेशन को ही पता है कि वे हाइपरटेंशन से ग्रसित हैं यानी ऐसे बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिन्हें ये पता ही नहीं कि उन्हें हाइपरटेंशन है इनमें से करीब सिर्फ वन फोर्थ पॉपुलेशन का ही ट्रीटमेंट चल रहा है एक और स्टडी में जहाँ फिफ्टीन से फोर्टी नाइन ईयर्स की आयु के करीब सात लाख इकतीस हजार आठ यानी सेवन लैख थर्टी वन थाउजेंड एट सिक्सटी फोर लोगों का सर्वे किया गया उसमें यह देखा गया कि करीब एटीन पॉइंट वन परसेंट लोगों में ही हाइपरटेंशन है जिसमें से करीब सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट वन परसेंट ने कभी अपना बीपी मेजर किया था और केवल फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट को उनके डायग्नोसिस के बारे में पता था इनमें से करीब थर्टीन ही लोग ऐसे हैं जिनको ट्रीट किया गया है और कुछ सेवन लोग ऐसे हैं जिन्होंने इस कंडीशन पर कंट्रोल पा लिया है हाइपरटेंशन को डिटेक्ट करना और भी जरूरी हो जाता है क्योंकि हाइपरटेंशन के कोई सिम्टम्स नहीं होते हैं और साथ ही साथ चूंकि इसका कोई क्योर भी नहीं है इससे आप सिर्फ दवाइयों यानी मेडिसिन के जरिए और साथ ही साथ लाइफस्टाइल मॉडिफिकेशंस यानी जीवन जीने के जो तरीके हैं उसमें बदलाव ला करके आप उस पर कंट्रोल पा सकते हैं उसे कंट्रोल में रख सकते हैं हाइपर बहुत बार जानलेवा भी हो सकता है क्योंकि ये कई सारे हार्ट प्रॉब्लम्स यानी दिल की बीमारियों का भी कारण होता है इस तरह से हमें हाइपरटेंशन के बारे में जानना और भी ज़रूरी हो जाता है आजकल की स्ट्रेसफुल लाइफ में हाइपरटेंशन बहुत ही कॉमन हो गया है यंग जनरेशन में तो वो क्या चीज़ें हैं जिनके बारे में हमें ख्याल रखना चाहिए वो क्या चीज़ें हैं जो हमारे लिए अलार्मिंग होनी चाहिए जो हमें ये बताए कि शायद हम हाइपर हो रहे हैं और अगर हम हाइपर हैं तो किस तरह से हमें उस पर कंट्रोल करना चाहिए डॉक्टर की सलाह कब लेनी चाहिए और साथ ही साथ कब अपने बीपी को मेजर करना चाहिए कंट्रोल करना चाहिए ताकि हम एक हेल्दी लाइफस्टाइल जी सकें मेडी सर्कल आपके पास लाता है राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन सीधे डॉक्टर्स एक्सपीरियंस डॉक्टर्स और एक्सपर्ट्स की जुबानी तो आइए डॉक्टर्स से ही जानते हैं कि हाइपर क्या है उससे जुड़ी हुई प्रॉब्लम्स क्या है और किस तरह से हम हाइपर पे कंट्रोल पा सकते हैं Stay healthy stay tuned to Mary Circle Hypertension is a condition in which blood pressure in the arteries is persistently elevated high bp is also a major risk factor for stroke heart diseases Lifestyle changes and medications can lower the blood pressure and risk of health conditions. At MediCircle, we are presenting World Hypertension Day Awareness Series, wherein we are featuring eminent cardiologists to create awareness amongst general population about their prevention active. Please welcome Dr. Vivek Gupta on our show for uh, speaking on this. Hi, this is Sana Khan, and we are going to speak to Dr. Vivek Gupta. He is a cardiologist in Delhi. He has 27 years of experience in the field of cardiology. He currently works as a senior interventional cardiologist at Indra Prastha Polo Hospitals in New Delhi since 1998, where he carries out the clinical and invasive work of, of coronary angiography, balloon angioplasty, stenting, valvuloplasty, and pacemakers. He has worked in France with Dr. Alan Cribier. He has extensively worked on COVID diseases, and he has organized 19 webinars in the wave one. with participation of american european cardiologists he is very frequently invited on tv channels for covid as a covid expert he is widely socially known among the popular circle of bureaucrats and ministers likewise throughout india moreover he has completed 10000 procedures internationally and in india he is also actively associated with an international ngo as a founder president by the name of mi international heart and healthcare foundation and a founder president of an ngo registered in paris by name of mi international heart and healthcare association he is also a founder course chairman for international cardiology teaching 
course that is Indo-European course on revascularization, which has organized courses in London, Paris, Amsterdam, and Switzerland. Wow. Please welcome Dr. Vivek. Hi, Dr. Vivek, how are you? Nice to be a part of Medi Circle and you have invited me for this program. I'm glad and I'm happy to share my thought processes on whatever you want, especially hypertension. It is our pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Dr. Vivek, what causes high BP? You see, high blood pressure is a very common disease. Out of 6.5 billion population, about 1 billion, which is, which is something close to 100 crores, because I speak in crores also, is suffering from high blood pressure according to one study. Yeah. And it is estimated by the year 2025, this was a little five years back study, we'll have more than around 1.5 billion patients of high blood pressure. So that means it is a very common disease. What is high blood pressure? We all know. High blood pressure is a condition where the blood pressure when you measure is more than a certain, certain degrees like 130 by 80 or 140 by 90 by various criteria coming from American Heart Association and, um, and European Society of Cardiology. Right. That means we can take it something like 130 to one, 130 by 80 or 140 by 90 as a, as a cutoff for the diagnosis of hypertension. What causes hypertension? Uh, there are many factors. There are two types of high blood pressure. One is essential hypertension, also known as primary hypertension, where the cause is not known. That's why it's known as essential or primary hypertension. Right. And the second point is, second is uh, secondary hypertension, uh, which is quite uncommon. It's only 5 to 10 percent of the whole high blood pressure group where you can really find the cause. The common causes are mostly hormonal or a blockage in the arteries supplying the kidneys. That right. is secondary hypertension. So this is a basic classification of those. So primary hypertension, the causes are mostly genetics. Okay. That means essential hypertension. Okay. And it is genetically determined. But of course, age and of course, lifestyle, obesity, uh, smoking, alcohol, mental stress, all these contribute to the increase in blood pressure. Right. Doctor, what type of diet is helpful in controlling this BP? Uh, to be very honest with you, and uh, the diet does not make major difference. Oh, Except it? that, of course, healthy is a healthy diet, which is very well known to everybody. The healthy diet means you should be taking a vegetarian food, uh, more of uh, less of carbo carbohydrates, more of uh, uh, proteins, uh, vegetables, uh, fruits, uh, avoiding the Barley, uh, more of a barley diet, avoiding the maida jo hota hai hamloka. That is something like healthy diet and eating timely and avoiding junk foods, especially the food which is in coming with lot of uh, fats and mostly uh, recycled fat. You see the fat which is more harmful is recycled fat. For example, if you go to the pizza center or the fast food centers or samosa or kachori, what they do, they keep on recycling the fat. And that fat is more harmful than the regular fat. So this is basically the type of food. But overall, except for the salt reduction, you cannot take it that this food will be controlling your blood pressure. Of course, it's good to have healthy food, and that will that that makes you less vulnerable to high blood pressure. Right. And what are the side effects of BP drugs that we take? You see, all the blood pressure medicines they have minor side effects. Mm -hmm. I, first of all, before asking, answering this question, what are the patients who require blood pressure treatment by medicine? That's a very important question. And that is always in the mind of the patients. Right. Uh, the basic psychology of all the patients is that they want to avoid medicines. Mm -hmm. uh, Doctor, can I be treated without medicine? If I take medicine, I will be taking lifelong. That is the major concern in most of the patients when I start initiating the medicine for any patient who has a high blood pressure. And they don't want to take medicine for the lifelong. Let me tell you one thing very honestly. If somebody is suffering from hypertension, mm -hmm. the medicines are mostly lifelong, mostly. Unless there is some disease with the catch, catch and then the blood pressure goes down and then they don't require uh, high blood pressure medicine. So there are various types of medicines which are available. One is calcium channel blocker. Okay. Others are beta blockers. Okay. Third category is ACE inhibitors, which is when medically... I cannot explain for the public. And then other the angiotensin receptor blockers. And there are then of course centrally acting some medicines. Mostly we are treating with the two category of medicine. One is ACE inhibitors. And second is calcium channel blockers. And thirdly is ARBs, angiotensin receptor blocker. 
Most, most of them do not have many major side effects. That's very important to know. That means if the patient has been advised to take blood pressure medicine, he should be told that there is no side effect and therefore you should take it. Except that few calcium blockers, have, they have got ankle edema, pedal edema, which is swelling in the lower part of the feet, lower part of the lower limb. And that, that is only difficulty is that they have a cosmetically swelling in the legs and they don't like it. And that is also now taken away from other higher category, higher, better uh, calcium channel blockers. So I would say no need for anybody to panic. That's blood pressure medicines have side effects. If they, they feel that the blood pressure medicines are have side effects, then they will stop taking it. And it is very important to control the blood pressure. Out of 1 billion population which is suffering all over the world, 50% are not either diagnosed or not treated. The reason why blood pressure is a one disease which is a silent killer. Why it is known as silent killer? Because it does not cause any problem to the patient. More, 90% of the patients will not have neither headache, they will not know. So that is the word hypertension day. The reason why the word hypertension league has initiated the program of word hypertension day to educate the people, to let them know that they have to get their blood pressure checked at least once in a year or once in six months or once in three months. And also all clinically, whenever you have any clinical encounter, clinical encounter means you go for a, uh, you go to the physician, for example, lady is going for the pregnancy or a person going for eye checkup or the person going for dental checkup, all clinically relevant encounters, all the physicians who are even dentists, they should take the blood pressure because otherwise you will miss the, the blood pressure because most of the gynecologists, normally gynecologists take it, but dentists and ophthalmologists and many surgeons also, I'm talking anybody has just pain in the abdomen, he goes for appendix, he will not check the blood pressure. So blood pressure awareness is very important. Even if the, if the physician is, is busy or, uh, or missing it out, let the doc, patient tell, can you please check my blood pressure? So all clinically relevant yes. encounter, clinically and clinical encounters should have a blood pressure checkup. I just wish that people uh, get enough knowledge with this and they understand the myths and uh, misinterpret whatever they have, the misinterpretations regarding the uh, BP drugs, the BP medicine that they don't take, they skip, and especially the old age uh, people, the senior citizens of our country, I don't know what's wrong with them that they try to just un avoid these BP medicines thinking ki chalta hai, koi baat nahi hai, ek baat nahi liya to kya hua, but then this thing, this, this statement of yours that koi fa, in, in se koi side effects nahi hai, this, will, this should really help them. You being the COVID I expert, want... you being the COVID expert, please let us know what is the relationship between COVID and uh, hypertension and what are the links and risks about, between them? Before that, I would also like to add that hypertension is a silent killer. Why it is known as silent killer? Because right. any patient who has got a prolonged high blood pressure history has more chances of stroke. And I, th I think people understand stroke. Stroke means a blockage in the one of the arteries or hemorrhage yes. in the one yes. of the arteries supplying the brain and the patient is paralyzed for life. Paralyzed for life. It's a very disabling disease. Yes. The one chance of stroke is increased if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure, chances of heart attack. And you know heart attack can be... Uh, one heart attack can be the last day of the life, and uh, that is why 50% uh, of heart attack patients do not reach hospital. So okay. hypertension okay. can also lead to accelerated atherosclerosis, leading to, leading to angina and heart attacks. Thirdly, patients of chronic kidney disease, high blood pressure uncontrolled will lead to slowly degeneration of the kidney functions, and they end up with dialysis. Fourthly, they have a very subtle, small changes in the eyes, which leads to uh, some changes and the vision loss. These okay. four things, which are very important if you have uncontrolled hypertension. Now coming to the COVID. You see, the COVID is, has been a disaster for the whole world. We started uh, in uh, the first case came to Kerala on January 30th. Donald Trump, as a president of US, came to India something like middle of February. On 24 February, I was on television channel, and that is my birthday, I, so I remember. And I was talking about his coming to Agra and Taj Mahal with, with the lady and himself posing pictures. And we were all very happy. At that time, COVID had already knocked the door of America as well as India. And we were not scared at all. And so many people came. March, it was rising. And March 24, Honorable Prime Minister put the national lockdown. lockdown. We, we all know the dates because I have been following it so well. 
March 24 was the lockdown day. It lasted for three months. June 1st, they started the first step of unlockdown. And I received a call from the, one of the very sim, sim, senior ministers at the behest of Honorable Prime Minister to take my views about whether a lockdown should be done or not. That was last year. So we were happy uh, till Diwali. It was continuing. But this year, January, we were very happy. And very less number of patients were there. And uh, we thought that Corona has gone. And we were asking ourselves. A lot of ministers were asking, Dr. Sahib, Corona is finished? So we were ha pleasurely happy. And we were asking that it's finished. February came, we had a good holy in March, and suddenly there is a second wave. So now this wave is causing more deaths because now it's a mutant virus, it's a different virus, it is causing more vulnerable, it's more uh, virulent and more contagious. Coming to hypertension relationship, if you have a controlled high blood pressure, the risk of COVID plus hypertension is not there. That's very important. If you have a, you are taking regular medicines, you are as good as a normal person as far as COVID complication is concerned. COVID and diabetes is different. In diabetes, if you have a uh, COVID, then irrespective of your good blood sugar control, uh, you are still have a high risk of having a major sequelae of COVID. But with high blood pressure, it is not true. But if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure, then of course, the chances of getting more pneumonia leading to more complications, uh, more hospitalization, requirement of oxygen is high. So it is very important during the COVID time also that please keep on checking your blood pressure and keep it controlled irrespective of diet or medicines. Don't avoid medicine. This is a very important message. Every person coming to me, Dr. Sir, blood pressure ki dawa band ka hogi? I tell you never, but you have to keep checking it. It is like you're taking a morning cup of tea. It is like something which you're taking as a part of your body. You are saving yourself from major catastrophe which can hypertension can lead to. So COVID controlled hypertension, no relationship. COVID uncontrolled hypertension, major problem. So please keep controlling your blood pressure. Thank you so much, Dr. Vivek, for your valuable time and your uh, significant knowledge to our viewers today. It has been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much, Sana. It was a pleasure talking to you and thanks to your organization for giving me the opportunity to talk about this important yet underestimated, important and yet underestimated topic of high blood pressure, which everybody is keep controlling. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It, it was our opportunity, sir. Thank you.